In today's world, scientists have ridiculed the ancient past for millennia. They don't accept that thousands of years ago, the planet Earth had a highly advanced civilization. They refuse to believe that the ancient Earth existed, yet they will have us believe that science is the way forward. The great Nikola Tesla had a warning for science when he said they think too deeply instead of clearly. So we have a message for the scientists of today. Tens of thousands of years before the birth of Christ, a civilization existed here on Earth that were so highly advanced that it is unthinkable for us today to understand. Within this civilization existed a group of immortal beings who possessed vast knowledge and understanding. One of these beings was Thoth. Thoth was the god of knowledge and writing and the wisest and oldest of the gods. He created a series of 12 emerald tablets in a long lost ancient language and which would only respond to someone with the light of the gods within them. And with this knowledge, the soul of man would awaken. Wait till you hear this. Thoth, an ancient Atlantean priest and author of the Emerald Tablets that, by the way, are encrypted in the long lost language of Atlantis. Thoth was master of mystery, keeper of records, mighty king and magician. He left the tablets as a guide for those that were yet to come. The first Emerald Tablet describes the life of Thoth. It describes how he came to be in a time far past to exist with other Atlanteans and how he lived a hundred times and for each of the lifetimes he descended the dark that led into the light and each time his power and strength were renewed. He warned the men of Kim, Egypt, not to betray his teachings and not to share his secrets or they would be struck back to the darkness from which they came. One of the key truths revealed in the Emerald Tablets is the notion of as above, so below. True without error, certain, and most true. That which is above is that which is below, and that which is below is that which is above. To perform the miracles of the one thing. If indeed the origins of this message come from some long lost tablets, that means all the wisdom of the ancient Egyptians is itself but a copy of something much older. The ancient dynastic Egyptian empire was basically an effort to recreate a long lost civilization. Could the Emerald Tablets be the source book for both the Egyptian mystery schools and all Western religious traditions? We know that Judaism, Islam, and Christianity all share certain principles which link back to Abrahamic traditions. But students of the Emerald Tablets argue those Abraham-based precepts can all be sourced within the far older Hermetic principles revealed in the Emerald Tablets. Certainly, if the principles and mysteries outlined within the Emerald Tablets date back to the first time or the before time, it would be easy to see how they could have reached and influence the likes of Abraham, Moses, and those early Hebrews. We often wonder who exactly the builders of the Great Pyramid were. In the tablets, Thoth says he shared the knowledge that would lead to the construction. He founded the Egyptian civilization. Over the halls of Amenti, he erected the Great Pyramid of Giza and posited in one of its secret chambers the then archaic records of ancient Atlantis. We have just discovered a hidden chamber in the Great Pyramid, guys. Could this be where the records are? Imagine for a second how significant this could be. It is mind boggling and we may be on the brink of the most ultimate discovery in the history of humanity. The Emerald Tablets contain a history of Atlantis, its mechanical and scientific achievements the manner it sank below the Atlantean waves, the colonizing of ancient Egypt, and even to the construction of the Great Pyramid. But their real significance is that they contain the keys to the unfoldment of the heavens, the earth, and the divine soul of man. These tablets are so written that the words respond to attuned thought waves, releasing the associate mental vibrations of an exhilarating rhythm in the mind of the reader. Thoth speaks of the degeneration of the hearts of the Atlanteans that led to their downfall and the great cataclysm. 
Only the Temple of Light survived atop a mountain on Undal, and within it the fortunate few who were saved. But it sank to beneath the waves to emerge in some future time, and those that were saved, including Thoth, left in the great ship of the Master rising above the temple as though in a submarine. What do you guys think of Thoth and the Mysteries Emerald Tablets? Comments below and thank you for watching.